So now I'm going to remove the cable change port, which is just a gummy little piece of plastic. Make sure that I've shifted this into the easiest gear, with the, I mean the hardest gear, with the downshift paddle. Now I'm pulling the housing away. See, I've pulled the housing away, so I have, I'm able to grab the cable. And it's hard to capture on the camera, but I can easily see the head of the shift cable sitting in an indentation in there. So as I push, it begins to want to come out. And you can see it sort of try to come proud. So I'm going to take something small, like a punch, or in this case, my smallest Allen wrench, and I'm going to try to manipulate it so that it wants to come out. So I just pushed the head of the shift cable so it comes out. And I'm going to pull it until it comes out. And there's dust coming out, which is wonderful. So if we look at this cable, we see a couple things. There's a big bend up there at the top from where it's been spooled up. That's going to create friction. Running my fingers down. Feels really dry and dirty right here. Then I get to another really big kink, which is no good. Another kink. So besides the fact that the housing is uh, broken and needs to be replaced, it looks like replacing this cable isn't a bad idea either. So I've removed this section of housing, and you can see there's you know, metal coming out both ends, which is not what we want. As I remove that ferrule, you can see what happened is under some great load, these strands, which are parallel to the cable to keep everything really stiff, have pulled through. So this section of housing is no longer any good. And I'll put it over here with this other housing that I want to replace. So that leaves me with just my first run, which, lo and behold, also looks like it's pulling through. So we're going to go ahead in the next step and just replace all of the shift housing. Okay.